A shelter in place alert remains in effect for the southern tip of Mercer Island. The city is, make, er, is asking people to avoid Island Crest Way between the 74 and 7800 blocks because of down power lines and a lot of debris. King 5's Jim Nelson is on Mercer Island tonight. So Jim, any idea when that alert is expected to expire? Well, no official timetable. However, the city did lift a previous alert on the east side of the island, and we've seen crews out throughout the night, so there's optimism that progress is being made. Until then, and with few places to turn, the community center is filling up. A cautionary glow as crews grind through another workday. Island Crest Way on the south end of Mercer Island still closed due to dangerous debris and damaged power lines. We're leaning on each other and uh, that's the way we get through these emergencies. City Manager Jesse Bond, like everyone, waits for good news. David Blum and family live on Mercer Island. Yes, we do. A hearty chuckle to get through these tough times. And we're staying with a friend who has a generator. It's getting old. Blum among the many taking advantage of the city's community center. With the help of a couple generators, it's now a warming shelter and workspace. I don't know that that many people want to come here and sit in the dark, but it's better than the alternative, so. I know, it's so dark so early. Strangers. But you don't have school tomorrow, right? Becoming friendly faces. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Like Janine Blumfield. She needs to catch up. I uh, wanted to charge my phone and my battery, and um, I've been, you know, like trying to do that at coffee shops, and they're just packed. And I see a lot of beautiful outlets here, so I'm very happy. The city is keeping the facility open from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, when people come here, they're grateful that it's warm and they have a place to charge their devices. Um, but certainly, uh, as this drags into day three, uh, we're getting tired, we're cold. And so they continue to wait, trying to stay warm on the inside as those workers finish up outside. Once we get power back, uh, we have a long cleanup ahead and we're hoping for the best. We're just doing everything we can to support PSE and getting uh, power back on Mercer Island as soon as we can. So tomorrow morning, the city is working with the school district to open up Islander Middle School as a second warming shelter. Schools already been canceled. As for that shelter in place alert, the city says those impacted residents will be notified through the city's alert system as soon as it's safe to get out and about. Live on Mercer Island, Jim Nelson, King 5 News.